Welcome to this PowerPoint on free trade. My name is Ime Ekasiotu. Um, I did this PowerPoint for National American University. This PowerPoint evaluates the legal environment of international business with focus on trade treaties. This is my abstract giving me the summary of what this PowerPoint is all about. These treaties and agreement, are agreements between states and nation under international law. It could be bilateral and multilateral. I got that statement from a text, International Business Law Textbook by Schaefer and its environment and its legal environment. Treaties can be broken too. Like the current, currently in the news about United Kingdom, they voted and they notified European Council of her intention to withdraw from the European Union. This happened in March 29, 2018. Nations, for political and economic reasons, form alliances and treaties. Like after the uh, Second and First World War, they made treaties such as NAFTA, North American Free Trade Agreement, and European Union. Free trade means removal of restrictions between nations for the purpose of import and export. There have been trade agreements between tribes and nations, but the first formally recognized trade agreement of modern era was between Spain and United Kingdom in 1860. Men have been trading, people have been trading for a long time. Presently, what World Trade Organization member nations have free trade agreements where any nation in the world can apply to join. As re recently, 2001, China joined the World Trade Organization and since then, it has started prospering to the point of competing with the USA to be number one with the number one with the most gross uh, gross domestic pro uh, product but is still called a developing country european union also has a trade agreement with member 28 member nations i'll talk about brit exit later on nafta north american free trade Ag organization agreement nafta north american free trade agreement which is between canada usa and mexico the name might soon change if our President Trump um, desire come to pass to USMCA. In South America, we have Mercosur, which comprises of four nations before they were like seven, you know, things change. Argentina, Brazil, Uruguay, Paraguay, Venezuela was there before. And we have the one for the Asian nations. Asia, we have Caribbean communities, we have the OAU for the Africans. There are so many different trade agreements, and in our test book, uh, you have a list of it. I have the citation in my PowerPoint. There. Though the word free trade is inserted in this contract, nationalism is protecting countries, companies, and workers using subsidies for export and tariff for import has been witnessed in the trade wars between USA and China. US complaining of the subsidies the Chinese are using to, to give an advantage to their uh, products. And then the US wanting to put more tariffs on this product. For this paper, for this PowerPoint, I talk about NAFTA in detail. NAFTA was first approved in 1994 align products and goods transnationally movement with low wages in mexico people prefer that american companies prefer that uh, uh car companies doing the same job americans did with higher for higher wages and the american workers lost their jobs and business organization folded up an abandoned structure like we see in detroit and elsewhere causing people to revolt against those trade agreements. The financial crisis of 2008 made Americans realize the NAFTA agreement did not produce the emphasized benefits 
I saw that in a, a write-up, a paper by Averis. Currently, President Trump and his team have negotiated a new deal with Canada and Mexico. European Union, this was founded in 1993 in the Netherlands. And at the inception, one of the goal was to raise the manufacturing gross domestic product, GDP, of our member nations. And even awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2013. But the members are still facing challenges of open borders, terrorism, loss of identity, and financial crisis to the point of uh, Britain voting to exit from the treaty. The Britain pound has more value than the euro, and they were doing well by themselves before. And look at the situation with Greece having financial crisis. In conclusion, uh, the last speech of President Trump to the United Nations Assembly in 2018, he encouraged all nation leaders to work for the good of their own people, promoting nationalism um, and membership of World Trade Set, uh, Organization have led to financial crisis for some developing nations, making them devalue their currency, um, borrow monies with high interest, even though you, the World Trade Center said it's low interest, and these leaders, some of some corrupt leaders, they mismanage this money borrowed, and now putting the people in debt, people struggling in debt some more. So is this World Trade Organization, is this trade agreement, free trade agreement, is it beneficial or not? I think it depends on how you use it. That is why President Trump is renegotiating the NAFTA deal to make it more beneficial for his people. I hope other nations will think of their people when they are negotiating these trade deals. Then it will be beneficial to everyone. Thank you for listening to me. These last two slides are for my references. The articles I got from the uh, National Online Library for our school and then um, from the textbook and other uh, scholastical journals. And more references.